Hey guys, how you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this. Before we start today's video though, I'm gonna ask you to do me a favor. Please hit that thumbs up button. It's very important. It helps the channel grow and spread the goodness of the Linux tube. Last week, I did a video called PacUI. It's a nice tool that was made for Pac-Man. Well, have I got another one, but only this one. It is made for any package manager in any distribution of links that you're on. It's created by Oglo the Nerd. It's called Rebos. And its job is basically to make your Linux distribution that you're on right now, if this is one that you really, really love, 100% reproducible. Very easily, very seamlessly. It takes the, or the Nix OS philosophy of what makes Nix pretty awesome and applies it to pretty much so every other Linux distribution out there. It's a great tool. Before we start with this video, though, I want to take a second and let you know that we're doing a little bit of a talking head part in the beginning because it's absolutely important to understand the documentation on it. And then I'll show you how it works. So please bear with me, you know, be patient. Let's go ahead and dive over into our virtual machine and I have it set up right here. This is a vanilla arch install and I have Rebos installed already. So you're going to find Rebos at Oglo's GitLab over there, which is I'll put the link in the description down below. And this is what you see right here. So it's installable in one of two ways. It's installable by either cargo or you can do it by adding his arch repo oglo dash arch dash repo into your etsy pacman.com which is right here so in order to do this this is where you would put it here and then you would run your update command which is pseudo pacman dash s y y and that'll update your repositories and allow you to install it via pacman the way you would with any other application that you would do you just all rebos okay so uh if you're going to install it cargo via cargo though you have to install rust that's what cargo comes from and then you simply type in cargo install.rebos which is hosted over on crate.io now the next important part is going to be the wiki which is at the very bottom here now this is where you get to understand how to use rebos so the first one the two sections we're going to focus on is the getting started section and then working with generations so getting started is very simple when you download and install Cargo, I mean, um, Rebos, whether you do it via Cargo or the package manager, you want to run Rebos setup first and then Rebos config in it. Now, the way that you do that is simply by launching your terminal. So we're going to open this up. Okay, and let's make this bigger here for you guys to see. And you're simply going to type the command Rebos setup. And then you want to hit enter. Now, I am not going to do that because I've already installed repos and I'm not sure if this is going to wipe out my configuration file and reset it up all over again. So I don't want to do that. You just type that in, you hit enter. Then as soon as you're done, then you want to run the next command, which he states is simply the config in it, right? So what you want to do is you want to type in the same thing, repos only this time, config. In it. Now, what this is going to do, this command is going to create in your home folder the configuration files for Rebos that it relies on, for the different TOMLs that it relies on, the different directories that they're in. That's what this is going to do. So you're writing to your home directory the Rebos config, and it's initializing everything for you. So those are the two important things. Step one, run, uh, once you install it, step one, Rebos setup. Step two, Rebos config in it. Got it? Cool. So now that we have that done, uh, you can look at this right here. And I want you to understand this part here is going to be in your configuration for your package manager. And the reason why you want to do this for your configuration for your package manager is because, once again, Rebos does not know what package manager you have installed because it's agnostic to any distribution. It just knows the machine with the host name on it. That's it. That's what it generates. I want you to pay attention to this right here because you're going to we're going to revisit that section a little bit later. And that's pretty much so all that we need to look at as far as the actual documentation for this. So we're going to go ahead and close out of this and then now we're going to minimize this a little bit.
And so now we're going to open up Dolphin or whatever file manager you have. I actually have Dolphin. So you're going to actually wind up opening it up to this. Some of you will not see your dot files. And this is important because if you're new to Linux, then you're going to want to see these. So you want, you want to hit the control and the H button and it will automatically unhide your dot files in your file manager. So now you want to go to dot config and you want to go to the rebos folder. And in here are the folders and the configuration files that config in it did. So it created these folders right here, which is hooks, imports, machines, and managers, and then your general TOML file. Really what you're going to look at is you're going to be in this one and the machines and the managers folder. Let's see if I can make this just a little bit bigger for you guys. First thing you want to do is you want to go to your managers folder, and then you want to go to this system TOML to edit. In the system TOML, what you're going to see is this right here. And what this is going to do, this, this is where that part that I showed you on the documentation page uh, that you need to see is this, this part right here. This is where you absolutely configure your specific pa package managers that you have installed on your system. So basically what I'm saying is if you have zipper installed, apt installed, pacman installed, DNF installed. This is where you would put the command line executables to install packages or remove them or sync the repositories and update. Okay. So in my example, being that this is arch right here, you in these points that are here, they're red. There'll be, there's nothing in between. You just go into it and you type in the command lines. What's important to remember is you have to keep the hashtag colon question mark there. Pacman dash Pack, pseudo pacman dash sy is how you install and then of course the pound the the pound colon question mark applies to whatever package that you put in the the toml file in the arrays that will show you where to put them at here in a little bit okay that's what that applies it to so this is something that you need to edit and it's only these four right here that you need the add remove and upgrade lines these are the ones that you do this for the rest you leave just as it is. The one other one that I want to talk about is flat pack and cargo. You can install flat packs and you can install cargos via this way as well. Oglo has taken the time to already set these up for you so you don't have to do any editing at all with these. But this is what this is. This is simply what it, it, the file that's referenced to by the other file where you add packages at. And it's the same for cargo. It just simply allows you to install them there. You want to go from here and you've set up your package manager. Now you want to go to machines. In machines, of course, you'll have the Arch Linux machine, and then you can create another one for say your laptop, or if you look at his, he's got Colossus laptop and something else and one of his documentations that he has over there. So mine right here is my I've got the Arch Linux virtual machine, which is what I've got set up. So that's the host name, and then your Gen Tomo files right here. Now, this is where we're gonna make this bigger once again, so you guys can see this is where you're gonna add some stuff. Like right here, I've added OBS. Studio 080 and GIMP. So let's think of another package to add. I mean, I have Dolphin installed, but what the heck? Let's install Thunar. I mean, that's I, I like Thunar, and it's easy enough to do. So you're going to do quote, and then you're going to type in the package name as you know it. If not, go look it up. Auto tab or auto completions enabled. So you hit auto completion, and then it, this is important. You have to put this comma afterward because in the Tamil language, this lets you know that this is in a list order, and so it'll move on to the next one, and next one, and next one. Okay, so now that we've got that done, we're going to hit save on here. Okay, and then this is where we execute the actual rebos construction of the file. So what you're going to want to do now is you want to close out of your editor all the way, right, or your, your package, or your, sorry, your file manager all the way. And once again, we want to open up our terminal and we're going to work on rebos. So now what we're going to type in here is we're going to type in rebos gen. commit and then you want to pass this argument of what you're doing and what i did in this is we added thunar so i'm just going to write thunar and then i'm going to hit close quote after that and i'm going to hit enter now it committed it completely and successfully okay and here it's giving you information of what it did it committed the user generation created the generation directory created the file commit, created the file in the gen toml, and it set it to vert generation list number six. So now that that's done, 
you want to well actually there's something that we should have done i made a mistake there before you do the gen commit you should actually do rebos config check to make sure that there were no errors Ooh, like my typing right goodness gracious and there are no configuration errors now if i ran the actual the the commit it would have given me an error and told me that there was an error if i typed something wrong anyhow this is better to do it this way first to absolutely make sure because it will definitely give you this what the problem is and how to fix it after you're done doing that then you want to do building it which is going to install the application so what we're going to do is we're going to clear this out and then we're going to type it okay so here we go rebos gen current and then build and then you want to hit enter now it's building the current generation. So a generation, the best way to describe it is basically, and you want to give it because it's doing sudo command and it's launching Pac-Man and it's going to install the application that you told it to. You want to give it your root password. There we go. Now it is doing it. And now I hit yes. Of course we didn't, it doesn't get past a, a no confirm so that you have to hit yes. And so there, now we're done. Now it's set to build to gen to, to, to version number six so this the generations is similar to when you log into next it shows that list as well and this will do the same thing so now we're going to clear this and we're going to see where we're at and so now we're going to do rebos gen list and it's going to give me all the generations that we've made as you can see i have six and then thunar and as you can see it's the current build right now that is using rebos and making it a hundred percent reproducible on whatever machine you go to it's a great tool i'm going to do a little bit more videos as i expand more onto it and play with it a little bit more and learn it there it's very powerful actually already and he's making plans to make it even more powerful if you've played with rebos let me know leave a comment down below also smash that thumbs up button it helps me out also i'm gonna put a link to the description in uh, on this where to get it also guys y'all keep doing what you do keep on links and stay safe stay blessed and above all i'll see you in the very next one